Pluralsight is an enterprise SaaS learning platform for technology professionals. What does that mean? So we have over 6,000 courses on all the latest technologies that are important in the job market today. And we also have a, a, an assessment platform that lets professionals measure their, their technology skills relative to the rest of the market. And they can connect with mentors to get help along the way. So ultimately, our platform is focused on closing the technology skills gap throughout the world. Started, uh, you know, my co-founders and I were in the classroom training business, so we would run around the world teaching, you know, 20 developers at a time in the classroom environment, and realized that we needed to use technology to fundamentally disrupt the way we taught technology. And so we discovered that we could apply all these new technologies like cloud computing and, you know, podcasting hardware, like USB-based microphones, uh, video distribution at scale to really build a new online distribution model for the professional training product that we were used to doing live uh, in, a, in a classroom environment. And that's completely changed the way you know, we think about um, this business. As you know, we started in software development. So those are continue to be the most popular courses on the platform. What we're finding and learning is there are skills gaps in the industry that fall in other areas and on-demand skills that are necessary. And so where we've seen an increase is like cloud. We've also seen a high demand for data. One of the biggest issues the world is facing today is this global technology skills gap. So there are more jobs that require the skills than people who have them. And the reason for that is because the technology landscape is moving faster than our ability to learn it. So typically, when it comes to what types of programs we're offering, uh, we're looking for those technologies and those skill sets that are broadly needed in industry, right? So as you think about us being truly a SaaS business, we need to be able to address problems businesses are having globally or more generally. So if you look at us compared to a lot of the other players out there in the market, that's a key differentiator. And we're the only one laser focused on the technology landscape and the way that we are. And we believe that we're fundamentally speeding up the way companies can learn these things. And, and in the end, if a company is moving slower internally than the market is moving externally, they're doomed to fail. Aaron, you've been around for, what, 13 years? 13 years. Outside? But you started really growing in the last couple of years. Can you tell me about why that is? Yeah, I mean, a lot of it is this, this transition to the online world. You know, I started the business in 2004. 2008 um, was when we went online. And from 2010 until now, we've just been on this rocket ship journey because the product is accessible. Mm -hmm. So we have customers in over 150 different countries that reach out to us through our platform to, to learn. And those are people we would have never reached before. Right, and I understand that you've actually doubled each year for the last, what, like three or four years? It was about, uh, yeah, we did about six years of consecutive triple-digit growth, so over 100% year-over-year growth. And, you know, we're aiming to continue high growth for many, many more years to come. And you've, you've taken in just under $200 million so far. That's correct. From VC. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we were almost 10 years old before we did our first round of fundraising. So we were already, and we were profitable. And because of that, we had a lot of leverage to control the dynamics around, you know, how we would raise the money. And we've just been really intentional about maintaining our mission, our vision for the company, and our culture in the end.